Hubbard's work is, is really, it's mysterious. He's like an alchemist, you know. You say these rather mundane things back and forth, and you think, as an actor, wow, that's kind of repetitive. I'd say that, say that, say that, that. And then there's a laugh. Well, I didn't really wasn't calculating for a laugh, but it came. And then there's another laugh, and there's another laugh. And then there's suddenly an, uh, a sort of deep silence. It's an odd, it's a very hard to define or, or calculate kind of chemistry that he that he puts into his writing. But there are two equal roles in this play. George and Martha are equal roles of equal intensity, equal equal difficulty. Yeah, a lot of people seem to want to play it. I have a kind of reputation of, of doing rather difficult, strong women. That's probably because I am a difficult, strong woman, although we'll leave that to my husband. Anyway, in the play there's a line, he says, there's no limit to you, is there? And I say, no, baby, none. Well, you know, who wouldn't want to do that? Well, what I see when I watch rehearsal is the actors becoming the characters. The characters don't know all the stuff that the actors are bringing. <laughs> you have to, you have to dare. You have to, even if it's wrong, the instinct, you have to just go for it just to show that you will. You have to um, put yourself in the position that this is the first time. You have to pretend it's the first production ever. My wife, whose name is Martha, actually did this role when she was an actor. So I had seen it then. I, you know, it's a great play. One comes across it in the theater, in the regional theater, and around the world. But uh, I wouldn't have bet two years ago that I would be doing it today.